Hey everyone, this is CPL Switcher and welcome back to another episode of Ivanica. So in this episode, we're continuing with the main quest where we'll be heading back to the capital of Lancelot. Yeah, uh, where we'll be discussing things. Yeah, after what happened earlier when you know, uh, Grigura tried to yeah tried to assassinate Tio again, but uh, we protected her. And, but she escaped again, uh, as in yeah, Grigra escaped again, so now we're going back to Lancelot to discuss what happened and what will be our plans from there on. So, yeah, but first, let me check out the inn. I also need to go to the inn anyway, since uh, Esther is... She, he died in, in that battle with Grigra. Grigra killed him. <laughs> but we're going to check out the inn. I think there's going to be a new dialogue here. Yeah, so let's check out. Oh no, wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, there is no new dialogue. Actually, oh yeah, now that I remember, because I've been to Pankaj once before and I've already accessed the new dialogue, so there are no new dialogues here. Okay, alright then. Then I will see you back at the capital of Lancelot. Alright, so we're now outside Lancelot, so let's hit it. Yes, let's go back. I see the title over here, The Third Zero Knight. So we're going to see The Third Zero Knight right here. We're going to go meet him right here. Nice. I wonder who he is. Thank you everyone. These pictures should have minimized the damage from the newspaper article. Based on the voters' reactions, you might, be, you might even be more popular than before. Maybe so. The crowds were bigger than usual, so it was a good chance to talk about my positions. That's why you need a good good talker, right? And Tio is definitely a good speaker. When life gives you lemons. You know that saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know that saying though. Life gives you melons. <laughs> if the president's the one who organized the attack, I'd love to see his face after these results. Yeah. But we never managed to talk to Gurigura. Well, we'll, we'll get through to her. Yes. I'm um, Tio. About the secret mission... I'm sorry. Under these circumstances, I can be your guide. <laughs> Makes sense. Because... Well, if it's supposed to be secret, what can you do? You never know when Grigra might be watching. I'm very sorry. If it would only affect me, I wouldn't mind. But it couldn't impose any potential burden on others. Until Grigra stopped, the mission can be completed then. Yeah, so we have to... Not, well, we don't want. Well, we have to stop Grigra, yes, but we don't want to kill her. We want her in our team. <laughs> but I find it hard to believe Grigra's a bad girl. Yeah, she's definitely not a bad girl, okay? She's just. forced. Or maybe not forced, more like. sort of like brainwashed. Yeah. But, well, I mean, she had. she was like. she's like. she had no choice but to like follow the orders because the, the guy like. Gave her, gave her an incentive to become a knight. You know, and then, like, I mean, and if you were in Grigra's shoes, you wouldn't want to, like, pass up that opportunity. But, yeah, but we all know that she's following the wrong person, but we have to, have to convince her, you know. I don't know how, but we just have to, maybe, show to, show her that, you know, we are the ones that are right, you know, and that we can give you something better than her, uh, than that guy, you know, who's controlling her. Because that guy is definitely only using her, you know. Huh? And do you think she's right about Tio being a criminal? No, it's not that. <laughs> oh dear. I... <laughs> I... Hey, 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 Tio, calm down. Oh, of course not. <laughs> From the time we spent together, I think she's a kind and wonderful person. Uh... Ah... Uh, I... I'm not so... <laughs> well, if only Tio can be my wife, but... Um, she's not... She's not a fighter, so... What has to be wrong with you to hit on someone in front of your wives? <laughs> I'm not hitting on her! It's, it's, I'm just... Me! I'm just being Esther! <laughs> then why do you think Grigra's not bad? She's attacking people. You have to see beyond that, Ramius. You have to. I know. But the hardest killer could have taken advantage of this poison gas commotion in Pankaj. Yeah. That's true. It would have been a perfect opportunity to attack. When I was saving the old lady, I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. 
But Green Grass helped me save her instead of taking the chance to attack too, yeah, so she's not really that bad of a person. Esther took out the throwing weapon that had severed the rope. It was the same as the ones Green Grass attacked with. And even when she attacked Teo the first time, it seemed like she only did it because our meeting in the middle of the night seemed fishy. Hmm. Okay. This is just my punch. But I think maybe Green Grass just been used. She definitely is, okay. Hmm, you're probably right. Huh? What do you mean probably? I mean, I agree. She's not attacking our personal interests. She's taking someone else's orders. I mean, from what I've seen, she doesn't come off like she can make decisions for herself. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, because she doesn't know what to do herself. You need to show her that she needs to make her own decision, you know, and not be a tool for another person. Ugh, then you could have said something instead of making me explain. <laughs> you may not know it. I like giving my husband a chance to speak. <laughs> Besides, I wanted to hear what you thought. Thanks, yeah, I, I, I said my piece. Ah, <sighs> Mendok Sai. Regrado. If only we could talk things out. Yeah, we certainly hope to talk things out with her. It's not easy. When the ranger gets serious, their skills are even compared to those of ninjas. Well, she definitely fights like a ninja. Ninjas? Those legendary assassins in manga and stuff? Wait, your, your world has manga? <laughs> yes, they apparently did exist hundreds of years ago, but they say rangers are modeled off the ninjas in manga. Really? Well, I mean, they have similarities, yes, both of them are past. Ninjas... Ninjas? <laughs> oh, Rich doesn't know what ninjas are. Who ninjas are? Don't you read manga? You know, like... <laughs> Ninja Porter? Or Ikarus Kagemaru? I'm not familiar with Ikarus Kagemaru. Maybe some popular Japanese manga. But Ninja Porter, I don't... I totally know what that is referenced from. <laughs> I totally know what that reference is. Of course I read manga. I own every volume of both. Okay, but you don't know what ninja is, ah? Uh? Ah, uh, really? Which loves stories about strong protagonists. Hero stories, essentially. Oh, do you like shonen? <laughs> it's just... When you mentioned ninjas, I almost remembered something. Uh, um, hmm... Uh, you remember what? Oh! Now I remember! That's right, Ninja Bird Lime! What? What's Ninja Bird Lime? Ninja Bird... Bird Lime? <laughs> what, what is Bird Lime? Right, that is that. It's an item created for capturing rangers who sneak into castles. Oh. Right. So that's how... That's how Grigra ended up working with Rochford. Rochford used... Um, what? Ninja Bird Lime? Whatever that is. To... To capture rangers who sneak into castles? Huh. That's a thing that exists? Right before the other tragedy, every country was taking efforts to collect info on every other country, so a lot of rangers were spent, sent on spy operations. Okay. Of course some were sent to spy on Eden, but we invented Ninja Bird Knight, something that could even capture a ninja. So what you're saying is that, are we the only like, the only country that invented the Ninja Bird Lime. So that means the Master of Grigra is definitely from Eden, right? So from here, this is when they found out that the Master, right? Grigra's Master is definitely someone from, yeah, from Eden. The matter was real proud of it and rambled on about how it works forever. I've still got it stuck in my memory. Oh, so that inventors. So it's in your era? It was invented in your era, Rich? Huh? You know the inventor? Yeah, the inventor came by the castle a lot. And we were about around the same age, so we talked plenty. Wait, what? <laughs> she... Uh, uh, the inventor, I, I presume it's a she. It's definitely a she, right? I mean... <laughs> I mean, definitely she, right? I mean, okay, let's presume it's a she. So she's around the same age as Rich? That young? And they're a zero knight like my brother. Wait. So that inventor is a zero knight? Okay. And you call that person a day? You mean so you mean you don't know 
who he or she is, like what gender he, he or she is. What? So what should we do? So what should we do? I doubt there's even any left at the castle. Okay, hold on. Um, there are zero nine. Yeah. So yeah, correct. So that inventor is actually a zero nine, which means that inventor is the third zero nine, right? Hmm. Okay. So I guess. Well, you said that. You said that there's uh, there's there isn't any ninja bird line left at the castle, right? So yeah, we should just look for this zero nine then. Really? Then let's ask this zero knight to make it. Now let's go back to Eden and... Well... That won't do any good. Unlike Echibel and Baro, this zero knight's not required to stay in the country or anything. So this zero knight is not staying in Eden? Then where is he? Or she? Huh? I thought zero knights had to. Both this person's promotion to zero knight and current position are pretty unique. They don't actually do a zero knight's job. They just hide away in the mountains. So they are living. So this zero knight is living in the mountains. Okay, so sort sort of like a maybe not a hermit, but just some you no know, wanderer. Yeah, like like Beauty and his, and her husband. Based on the New Year's card we got last year, you would want to look somewhere in the mountains between Landstock and the Kingdom of El Quizot. I think. Okay, so that means we have to go east because you know there's a branch where. To the west is the area where Pankaj is, right? And then east, yeah, so, so the east is actually to the kingdom of Elf Resort. So we have to go in between there. But well, I know in between there, there is a mega monster which we encountered a few a few episodes ago. So is it around there? Hmm. Maybe I've got no place to say this being from Fresh Fish Island, but that's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean like, I mean like, how are we supposed to find? A needle in the haystack. I mean, in the mountains. You know, it's not easy to find. It's not easy. It won't be easy finding him. You know. I've heard rumors the inventor can't live near anyone due to their dangerous experiments or something like that. Oh, dangerous experiments. I can't do my mission until we talk to Guigura. So let's get this person to make some ninja bird line. So we're going to use ninja bird line to capture Guigura. <laughs> that would be interesting. And then make her ours. <laughs> hmm. Don't know if they agree to it. That's what I'm worried about. Okay. So nobody here knows who this third zero nine is. Like their gender and all that. They don't know. Okay. Um. What you do, Tio? Anomidas contacted me saying he found some guards. But I think I'll return to my office. Okay. Okay. We'll get in touch with you again later. As the party saw Tio off and decided to head for the mountains to the east in search of Ninja Bird Knight. Okay. So that means we were going east after all because, uh, because like I said, the branch where we went earlier, we went west to the area where Pankaj is. That like a few episodes ago, I, I you know deliberately went there just to explore the whole area there. And that's also where you have the Henny uh, tombs and all that, right? Yeah, so we already explored the west part. So the our next destination is the area to the east. So that's where we'll be going to the mountains to find uh this third zero night. And actually that area is also also leads to the kingdom of El Prisot, which we'll definitely be visiting later down the road, right? Okay, but now that Tio's gone, <laughs> that means we can teleport back home. That means we can access Yes. <laughs> We can access from your second location see now. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly, uh, you know, make some preparations, uh, buy some item shop, and then I'll see you back home. Okay. And yes, I just teleported back home. All right. So let's do this. Let's access Ramius second location see Let's go. <laughs> home, Tadaima. Okay, second location scene. For Ramius, here we go. These are events from shortly after Ramius married Esther. Now, what to buy? So we're, I think this is the, the town. Yeah, this is shortly after uh, Esther and Ramius married, right? So that means this is in Stallion. This has to be Stallion because it's near home, right? So we are shopping. 
Esther and Ramius were going grocery shopping in Stadia. Want anything in particular? <laughs> well, I mean, you got to have some preference, you know. Hmm, I appreciate it, but being told that anything is fine puts me in a difficult position, yeah, because I don't know what to buy. Like, yeah, you need to tell me something specific so that I can cook it to the best of my abilities. I can cook it with all my love for you. <laughs> you have any favorite foods? Uh, that doesn't help, but anything edible. Uh, <laughs> ah, come on. I thought they have some preferences. I mean, considering that you're a fighter, you're a tank, uh, you like meat, right? You love meat, right? So, what kind of. Can I cook you like some meat dishes? What kind of meat dishes do you like? Hey, I'm glad you say that. I think I'll go with tomato simmered fish for today then. Oh, tomato simmered fish. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I've, I've had those tomato simmered fish before. Really nice, especially the tomato. Oh, but maybe wine simmered beef would be better. Hmm, I'm not a fan of beef. Yeah, but. Okay. I, I prefer tomato simmered fish. Ramis vigorously nodded. Yeah, I remember uh, saying before. I think in the my my uh, first the the my previous video, my previous previous video that is um, of my the last video of the first episode of the Grisaya Phantom Trigger Volume Five. I did say something about tomato sauce and tomatoes. Well, tomatoes they don't they don't taste sweet unlike tomato sauce, but Tomato simmered fish is a different story it, it, because it makes the fish juicy and all that. And I love, yeah, I really love tomato simmered fish because it's really juicy. Anyway, Ramius vigorously nodded. Huh? Um, what about salmon and butter salt? Um, what about me? <laughs> Am I delicious? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, a whole roast chicken could also be nice. Okay, let's go with roasted chicken because she said it in such a one in such a in such big words. <laughs> it's such a big word that it, I mean I see. So she particularly likes meat. Yeah, figures. Alright, we have meat today. Patterning's fine. But don't get fat uh, I mean I'm sorry, I mean Fattening is fine, but not too much, yes. Esther swore to defend Ramius' way size to the death as he headed to the shopping district. So, that's special. Today, 20% off on chicken meat. Oh, perfect. One whole chicken, please. A oh. uh, what? When the butcher noticed Ramius, his expression stiffened. Uh, don't worry, yeah, guy, okay? Yeah. あ。私の旦那だ。いや、旦那。え、ロミオ総長様がご結婚。Yes, <laughs> Come on, be happy, be more happy, be happier when you when you talk to the other people. Um, the butcher and Ramius feel so distant. When I was shopping in here alone, he acted totally different. Maybe it's like because he hears he hears her, so it's like showing her respect. The couple finished shopping and left the store. Okay, we're at the fountain. Hmm. Okay, um... Oh, the butcher's behavior got me curious. But you should worry about it, you know, because, I mean, I want you to be able to talk to other people in a friendlier manner. But I, 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 I am worried. This is about my precious waifu. Yeah. You got to be more, like, more, you know, friendlier. 
少しだけ私の弱音を聞いてほしい。OK, I'll feel for complaints. Let's hear it. Hear them. アスタは私が孤独騎士というあだ名をつけられていることは知っているの<笑> ?Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a mean nickname. Yeah, the loner thing. いや、私のことを的確に表しているあだ名だと思って。That's why you, you got to make an effort to, you know, improve on that, you know, remove that image from other people's minds. How, how did they get hurt? Hmm. We get to learn some more things about Ramius, about how she was caught the lunar night and all. Then you got to, like I said, you got to improve on that. Don't just like accept it, you know. Uh, hmm. I wonder though, about that for a while. Hmm. You're a little different from most people in some ways, yeah. But you have the desire to help the weak that any knight should, to be sure. Oh, yeah. But you have the desire to help the weak that any knight should, to be sure. Okay. Then I don't get why the other knights avoid you. Because of, of how you swing your lance or what? That can't be it. If any man had a chance to team up with a big booby hottie like you, <laughs> you take that opportunity even if you kill them. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you're a cute girl. <laughs> Again, with the cute. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Again, with this excess flat thingy, Ramius. <sighs> Will she ever realize how attractive she is? You know, she really is attractive. Well, maybe not your personality, but your body is definitely feminine. <laughs> you know? And you have long, great long hair too, you know? Constantly? That often? Well, screw your brother. I mean, he just doesn't appreciate women. Whoa, Ajiba, you like your sister a little too much. Um, okay. I can't. I mean, probably it's like he said he likes her a little too much because, yeah, because I mean, probably it's because Ajiba is too familiar with uh, with his sister that he would say such a thing, you know. He be very blunt, you know, and honest. But I certainly no. If I have to be blunt and honest myself, I think Ramius is cute, you know? Sounds like he was just trying to drive other guys away from her. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> Esther's assumption was mostly accurate. Okay. Now I get it. Uh, Ramius. Esther said, man. Uh oh. Okay, uh oh. Is there gonna be drama here? Ramius was approached by a knight who had been appointed alongside her. And this dramatic music, this intense music, means spells trouble. <laughs> so all you care about is her quitting, huh? Screw you! Huh? You shut up! どういう意味だ。そのままの意味だよ。孤独騎士の噂が広まりすぎて、同期の俺たちまでダメ騎士と思われて迷惑しているんだ。Well, we can do something to fix it, you know. But I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna let Ramis quit just because of this lunar night thingy. If I were in Ramis' shoes, I wouldn't quit either, you know. Just screw you. Ramis, don't listen to this stupid, light-hearted knight. 
お前の騎士の志が本物であることは知っているだが仲間のためにもやめてほしいというのが本音なんだ、えー、just because of your selfish things. すまんだがそれでも私は、oh, Esther, it's your time to shine here. やめる気はないってことか Ah, you never need to quit. Kimio? I'm her husband, you fool! <laughs> Ramya's husband? I'm a hell of a guy. What? Okay, what about it? <laughs> hmm. I guess. So, you can't get it. So, you can't get it. You can't get it. Before the man could finish. What's going on? Another knight shouted as he frantically ran over. Monsters invaded the city. Ramius, this is your chance. This is your chance to prove to the other knights and also the civilians here in Stalin that you're a good knight, okay? Let's do this. Oh, shit. What has this merchant done? We can help out. Ramius. Hey, shut up, you! This is not the time for arguments. The couple ignored the other knights and rushed into the city. In the center of town, people are running around frantically. This is awful. Don't think there's much choice but to beat them, so we are going into a fight. Alright. If anything, if any uh, any people get the wrong idea about us, we can clarify the situation, yes. We can clarify things. <laughs> Shut up, this is not the time to think, okay? This is time to act. The other knights pursued the couple and breathlessly tried to get them caught. Yeah. Well, it may be recklessness, but still, doesn't matter because Ramius is strong and I trust her, okay? <laughs> you stupid fool! By the time you do this, all the people will be dead here. Yeah! Do you not trust Ramya's abilities? We actually make sure that won't happen, okay? Protecting the townspeople is a nice job, though. Well said, Ramya's. <laughs> well said. The night hit where it hurt was stunned into silence. Alright. Sure, you can count on me. They readied their weapons and charged towards the enemies. You're just a bunch of cowards. You're a coward. You shut, shut up, light hearted noob. <laughs> the knight made excuses for his own incompetence. Yeah. Right. Sometime later, also we we're not fighting enemy enemies ourselves. Okay, I don't get to control the battles, but it's fine. The town that had been full of screams and roars became quiet once more. Yes, it's over. Well done, Ramius. Give me a high five. <laughs> oh, nice CG right here, by the way. Yeah, her back view especially is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and then Esther holding the sword right there. Still holding up her lens, Ramius cautiously analyzed the area. Oh man, I just saw the debris center at the back. Yeah, so there's some damage has been dealt, but at least the people are safe, right? Yeah. Hmm, looks like it. 
Behind her, Esther also checked their surroundings before taking a deep breath. They saw nothing around them but fallen monsters. Weaker than I was expecting. There sure were a lot though. In the end, while the monsters were great in number, there was nothing they couldn't take by themselves as long as they stayed calm. Yeah, I mean, I mean those those light-hearted that light-hearted soldier and the rest. They said we should stay calm, but we were totally calm. Okay, we were perfectly calm. <laughs> That's why I'm here for you. Yeah, even weak enemies can gang up, gang up on you. They exhaust you eventually. No worries, girl. Okay, let me just do something here. Let me just turn off the skip mode. That button. <laughs> yeah, just to turn it off. We're married, Ramius. You don't have to thank me for that. Yeah, we're a family now. Glad to hear that. Same, you know, I'm glad that someone has my back. Ramius. Esther gently hugged Ramius from behind. Of course I do. You're my waifu. He grinned. You're my. Oh, Unme no Kataku, so that means you're my soulmate for eternity. <laughs> yeah. Through. through. What, what you call that? Through thick and blood or something like that. <laughs> through thick and thin, I mean. Yes, through thick and thin. See? Applause from the crowd. Oh, yeah, from the public. They've won them over. Ramius was cut off by some abrupt cheers. See everyone's, uh, everyone appreciates your efforts except those, those soldiers. See, Ramius, when you do, see, people can be appreciative of you, you know, Ramius, you just need to have more self-esteem, yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> Is she blushing? What's wrong? Try waving to the crowd or something. Yeah, you know, don't be shy. Well, that's why I told you to wave to them. You could try getting me. <laughs> I never would like that. <laughs> no, no, please don't do that, Ramius. Seriously, don't. Oh! I just saw something. A glimpse of a glimpse of Rami's pantsu right there. I just noticed <laughs> trying to get pantsu over there. Are you serious, Ramis? Please <laughs> no. <laughs> Ramis put her hands on her clothes, preparing to start stripping. No, I was kidding! <laughs> oh my god, seriously Ramius. Don't 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 just do anything I say. <laughs> <sighs> I need to be careful about making jokes. But anyway, I think they're just giving their honest opinion of you, so like I said, try waving at them. Not concerned about whether the crowd was thanking him at all, Esther nodded with satisfaction. Both of us? Well, maybe more for you than for me, but still I'm glad either way. Ramis gazed at Esther and smiled. Yeah, forget your days as the loner knight. Mm -hmm. Should we show the town our appreciation by waving? Yeah, we should. Ah. Ramius smiled and waved to the townspeople. Ah! Okay. The crowd watched her and cheered all the more. <laughs> Who are you? Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. Is this what the village actually recognized her as? <laughs> First someone is like, Lady Ramya stand around drooling outside the butcher shop because of the meat, because she loves meat. And another one, uh, Ramya <laughs> taking a sheep at the bookstore so she would feel okay about buying porn. <laughs> <laughs> that will explain why you know Ramius is not wearing any bra because no bra will fit her, her boobies, so instead she had to settle with pasties. <laughs> you hear that? It's so popular! Yeah, popular for the kind of the kind of the wrong reasons, kind of the embarrassing reasons. <laughs> Ramius blushed and looked down. That's how much everyone loves you, Ramius. But in a way, yeah, they still love you. The thoughts people have been watching you since you were little. What could be nicer than that? <laughs> Yeah, it's embarrassing, I know. <laughs> well, I'm here, okay, don't worry, you can hug me to, you know, to cover your embarrassment or something like that. Yeah, make your embarrassment go away by hugging me. Yeah, let me your shoulders. <laughs> You can land my shoulders. Unable to stand the shame, Ramius ran away. Hey, wait, don't run away! <laughs> Boy, Ramius really is cute. Alright, I'll have to reward her by cooking the best meat I can. As the finish stopped shopping, then headed home in a good mood. Alright, Ramius gained skill one skill point. Hey, that was a nice scene. So, this love gauge scene isn't a hit scene, but it's still an important. It's still an important scene because it, yeah, we get to know more about Ramius and all that, yeah, more development with Ramius. Okay, so, well, the love gauge is officially reset and now we have to grind a bit again, you know, to get, yeah, uh, to next, uh, I'll have to grind a bit again to get the love gauge full so that we can unlock which second love gauge scene. So, yeah, but that being said, yeah, I'll be Resuming the main quest, and I'll see you at the mountains to the border. Yeah, so see you there. All right, so we're actually at the eastern part of the Republic of Landslot, and we'll be entering, uh, presumably, is a cave. Yes, it's a another dungeon. So let's check it out. So the border mountain range. So yeah, I presume the third zero night is somewhere in here. Yeah, we're, so we're entering a new dungeon. Yes. The party set foot in the rugged mountains, making up the border between the Republic of Lancelot and the Kingdom of El Crisot. Okay, the border mountain range. Whoa, this path is a mess. We could bother to maintain it a little better, and it seems like there are no fences to like you know, block the prevent you no know, to like as a safety to prevent people from falling off because it seems like you can fall off here and if you fall off you know you die it's on the border of your prison so they have to constantly argue about who's putting how much money into it apparently well yes all things considered it's much faster and safer to take a ship than to climb these steep dangerous mountains yeah even long ago during art making artist exodus they constructed a bunch of boats so they could cross by sea Oh really? Unlike Lancelot, they have plenty of lumber to use in El Crisot. The plan was put forth so that women, children, and old people who couldn't climb the mountains were able to keep going according to the story. Yeah, I know that uh, El Crisot has a lot of lumber because, well, that's the kingdom where there's a lot of forests, right? So with a lot of forests, that means a lot of lumber, right? Yeah. I wonder what kind of guy Arthur was. Now, the person we're looking for should be near the peak. Let's get climbing. Alright, near the peak. Got it. And I think that's definitely going to be a boss battle hit as well. Yeah. Considering that this is a dungeon. 
How could anyone live up here though? Esther pondered to himself as he stepped onto the rocky trail. Right, let's go. Um hmm. I'll go here. Okay. Uh and we have a new enemy. <laughs> What's with all these dudes though? I mean, you know the, the mega monster that I met a uh, met before? That that mega monster is also a dude, right? I think it's a Duda Phoenix, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, Duda Phoenix. We have a Duda Elephant and Duda Tiger. Quick to flame, well, let's, let's just kill. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, not too bad. Oh, we have a new treasure. Ah, Dream Dress plus 3, nice. Uh, okay, so let's proceed. Treasure chest! 1000 gold, alright. Let's head down and go this way so I can go this Alright. Alright, we are heading here. Okay, let's see this one. When Esther touched the statue, he relayed tourist information to him. So there's even this statue here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Landslot Tourism Association brings you this hella cool guidance. West the Republic of Landslot, while east the Kingdom of El Quizon. Yep. North? There's mountains. Nothing but weirdos living up there. Including the third zero knight. <laughs> but weirdos mean there are more than one there? More than one weirdo there? The statue offered its unsolicited guidance, then fell silent. Okay. So, I guess we have no business to hit. Oh, but there's a trap there though if we try to hit east. So, uh, uh, maybe I should try out the trap. I, I, I think it shouldn't be so bad, right? Oh man, there are quite a lot of traps though <laughs> leading to Elk Resort, so I don't think I should waste my time going through all these traps. But, yeah. Okay, let me just fight all these monsters first. Okay, so I just, you know, uh, took down a raid, the bonus monster 1.5. So it looks like there's going to be quite a lot of... Well, I don't think that I, I would foresee a lot of traps here, but actually, I tried to walk down further, further down here to the east, and there are actually quite a lot of traps. There's like two traps I just uh, passed through, and there's a... I think there are more traps up ahead, so I think I'm not going to waste time going there until I need to. So let's proceed north. Yeah. Okay, so it's there. Now we see we have another one of these. Yeah, I encountered one earlier. I don't think there's any way we can avoid this though, so you know. Yeah. So I'll just fight this monster. But they should give a lot of experience, these monsters, you know, so which is great. Good for leveling. Um, oh. There's a boss up ahead, but let's see what's down here. Oh, there's a trap here, but I guess I can avoid it. Yeah, I can avoid it though. <laughs> okay, um, what's this here? Hmm, what about here? Oh, more of these traps. Oh, wait. But I think, yeah, actually, now that I look at it, these traps are unavoidable, so... But near this, yeah, they are avoidable. Oh, okay. Oh, nice! Knight Sword plus one for Esther. So let's uh, replace this. Okay. Um. So it seems like going east doesn't really um, take me to Elf Resort. It's just there's a treasure chest there. Okay. Maybe it's through here. Um. Or maybe. Oh, we have to like probably go up then go here. Okay. Go here so that it lead us to El Quizot, but it looks like... Wait, hold on. Let me take this down first. Okay, so it looks like there's a boss battle up ahead, so let's see who's this boss here. Hop hop, a bunny? Hmm? What's that? Some round gelatin like creatures are jumping around over here. Gelatin like creatures? Slimes? Ah, they do look lovely and delicious. I don't know about eating slimes though. Wait, 
Those are Clarios! They're monsters! Clarios? These monsters have regeneration. They're pain. I didn't think they showed up around here though. They have regeneration? No problem. We just have to damage them, kill them before they regenerate, regenerate even more. Let's take them out one, one by one. Got it. I bet they're, ma they're weak to magic. The Perios hopped and... Or rather the... Yeah, the Perios hopped towards the party and attacked. Right. Oh, this one. Remember there's a Mega Monster that's also shaped like this, but that one is the really damaged Perio. And they... That Mega Monster, I, I fought it once before, and it really hurts. <laughs> yeah, so I think this... Monsters are going to be are going to pack a punch, so and they heal each turn. So um, okay, let's see. Uh, let's go with this. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow, that heal. Um, fire blast. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, another range trust. Alright, you're dead. Good thing, good thing they're weak to um, magic. <laughs> Fire magic in particular. Right. Annoying monsters. But we got through that, okay? A piece of a pearl. It would be good with whipped cream on it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Dude, it's filthy! Catherine, Catherine lives right over there. Let's go pay her a visit. Wait. Now suddenly you know who the third zero knight is? Is is Catherine? <laughs> um okay. The party resumed ascending the mountain trail. So wait. Yeah, but I, I actually kind of figured that the third zero knight is a, is a girl, is a female. Yes, considering that well She's, she's an inventor and she's of the same age as Rich, so I presume that it's a she. So it is a she, Catherine, okay? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what's this. Uh, I need to see, but let's see what this sign says. If you don't, if you don't got business here, then keep out. Alright, uh, let me just try going east and east. Oh, um, I guess we have to fight this, but uh, I guess I'll save going down this route. Or later, yeah, eventually you have to go through here anyway, right? So, but I think this is a good place to stop this episode. So, in the next episode, we'll be finding out who this Catherine and who this third zero nine is. And I'll see you next time. See you then.